Hey everybody, welcome back. This week we're gonna go ahead and start right where we left off last week. We're gonna get uh, that second battery pack hopefully wired up and the BMS working with it. And uh, then I think we'll move on to brakes, but we'll see how far we get. All right, I am trying out my uh, onboard car charger. Um, it's not quite wired uh, correctly, meaning I've got the uh, plug, the receptacle, and I don't have it plugged into here. And one of the reasons for that is I don't have a uh, J1772 port. You know, I don't have a car, a wall car charger. So right now I've just got this plugged into uh, just just into a plug. And I got to see if it's if I got everything else wired up correctly. I just want to see if I can increase the voltage. So with all the uh, pump stuff that I've been doing and other things. Uh, it's been using a little bit of the batteries, not too much, but again, I just wanted to see, make sure I can uh, increase the voltage and want to make sure that this guy, that I understand how this guy works. So we'll let it go for, I don't know, for 20 minutes, an hour, something like that. I just want to make sure we can increase the battery voltage. All right, so it's been about 40 minutes. I'm going to go see uh, what the voltage is at. Um, the charger itself, um, so I can get about up to 76 or so, uh, ambient is about 54. So this is only with uh, 110 voltage. So I imagine it'll heat up a lot more when it gets a uh, higher voltage, you know, like if I plug it in 220. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and see how much our, our pack voltage is increased in about 40 minutes. So 346, um, and we were down about 319, I think is when I started. So, so we'll keep it going. All right, while this is charging, I still have the question of where I'm going to put the uh, charge port, the receptacle. So again, initially I was thinking potentially right here. Um, some people have said, you know, you don't want to mess up your body lines or, you know, so I could put it back, uh, kind of by the license plate. I could run some cables and have it up front somewhere. So again, uh, keep the comments coming. Um, we'll figure it out. All right, one other question I have about the charging is what wall unit should I get? Does anybody have any suggestions? Um, I've looked at uh, like the juice box or a couple of those other ones. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. All right, so I almost forgot, but I need to do this for the second battery pack. I need to check all the BMS connections um, before we connect them up. I'm really hoping we got everything wired correctly because I don't want to dig out the batteries. So we'll, we'll see. All right, so I tested them all. They all had uh, red appropriate voltages except for one. One had, it said 2.9, um, which is below our 3.2 minimum. All the other ones were right around 3, 3.5, 3.5 something. So I'm just gonna check to see if there's like a kinked wire or some other explanation, but otherwise it, it kind of gives me a little concern. All right, I kind of, uh, Shook things around, unplugged things, plugged things back in. So it's still reading the uh, 2.9, which makes me just a little concerned. Um, so I'm, I may ask uh, around, see, see what others think. But uh, in the meanwhile, I'm gonna go ahead and hook up the BMS and just make sure that we got our thermistors and other things reading. So uh, we got a lot of things going on here in the second pack. Um, I can't even type in any commands. It just keeps on like, going back and forth between uh, think cell 84 is in a low voltage condition, and then it says it's okay. And it keeps going back and forth. All right, I don't know if this is a good idea or not, but um, I got uh, two BMS kind of sets, one for pack one, one for pack two. So the one for pack two didn't seem to be behaving how I think it should. So again, I don't know if this is a good idea or not, but I unplugged all those plugs and I'm gonna put them into pack one BMS 
just to make sure I can read cells and see if there's any other errors. So, wish me luck. Okay, so I did swap out the thermistors, so I'm at least getting those five readings. There's one on cell, I can't remember, 12, that I'll have to unplug those and plug the other one in to see if it's working. But that's good. So it's showing all the cells, it's showing the thermistors. All right. All right, so this side's not hooked up and it's just kind of got the red green flashing. This one where it's got the several red beeps, that's the one that's uh, in the low voltage. It's got one cell that's in the low voltage condition. So that's what that means. And uh, it's got these wires, this uh, twisted pair that comes off here. This is kind of a, I can't remember if it's on when things are good. I think it's on when things are good. So right now it would not be sending voltage through here. And uh, I'll hook that up to kind of a display in the dash, um, a battery kind of warning. All right, as I'm trying to take off some of these battery modules, I just thought I'd show kind of, we're getting some, again, really good uh, thermal connection there. So I gotta take this one off. Again, I think the BMS plug, one of the offending ones is here, either that or it's this module. Originally I thought it was module four. I'm just wondering if I may be Anyways, Cross and Wiser did something. So I gotta get this one unplugged and then we'll keep troubleshooting. Okay, uh, this is the offending uh, BMS satellite. Um, I don't know what any of this writing means, but that one almost looks like it says PCB damage. I don't know, maybe it says something else. Anyway, I think I got this one from EV West and uh, but anyway, I, the other thing is it looks like, there's kind of like, call it a hot spot there. Like it looks like it maybe melted or something. So yeah, just wondering what the next steps are. All right, so I'm not sure quite what's going on, but with the BMS problem that I had, um, I went back and kind of looked at these ones because I was gonna go try and uh, bring the one low cell voltage up to where it needs to be. Um, tried the, essentially the, the plugs again. I didn't want to necessarily just try to charge it with a pin or something. So tried the plugs again and, and did the voltmeter to see which one was, you know, kind of double check which one was the low voltage. And now I've got a couple pins that won't read any cell voltage. So um, I swapped out all the BMS wires just thinking if it was a wire problem um, and it's not a wire problem. So on this cell, this, this bottom one, this has got the low voltage condition, um, but it's also got uh, pins, what is that? Uh, 10, 10, 11, and 12. So I can't read from 10 to 11 or from 11 to 12. And this top one, um, I can't read from cell like eight to, well, from, anyways, pin nine is not working. So if I go to, if I span from pin eight to 10, I can read the voltage, but otherwise I can't. So the bottom one was um, the, anyways, that this was my module five and module six. So both of these kind of played into the faulty BMS. I don't know if that's what's causing the issues. I don't know if these have like in, internal uh, little fuses that blew or what. So I'll reach out to um, EV West and see what they can do for me. All right, I sometimes get a little excited about stupid things. So uh, this is my little bus bar. I got this uh, tubing, cut it in half, put a little uh, zip tie on it. So it's like that. And then when we put it on, it's like this, and it's all covered. And then you can get to your things, but in general, it's covered. I know, pretty lame. All right, remember how I said I really didn't want to get into this? Um, 
turns out I still need to access one thermistor from this one. So um, pulled the radiator out this way. I haven't disconnected any hoses, just a little bit of slack this way. Took the front off. So hopefully I can access um, the thermistor that I need to there and then route the wires on back. So we'll see how it goes. All right, so again, I got uh, the radiator off, the front plate off, just getting at this front connector here because I tried both ones in the back, meaning the first time it didn't read it and then I switched it and it still didn't read it. So just two thermistors left. So I plugged it into one here, just ran the wires back over the top here, plugged it into um, the BMS controller with nothing else. And now if I type show thermistor, so this very first one is what we're looking for. So we're good. That means we can go ahead and run the wires uh, through all this jumbled mess and back here. All right, when uh, fastening this bracket here, ended up uh, busting that off. So just uh, epoxy a new bolt on and we'll, we'll make do. All right, just like that, it's all back together. Um, the only frustrating thing is just the, uh, the time it takes where you could be building or doing something else and kind of have to take apart and that's kind of all part of the process, right? All right, so I got this all buttoned up again. I got the wires kind of run all the way back here. So back in the back, um, there's something I still need to kind of work through. So this is just extra wire. So when I was doing the front, I wasn't quite sure where I was gonna put all the uh, BMS stuff. So I gave myself extra wire. And uh, for the time being, I just kind of plugged them all in. Um, I've got to, I shouldn't say I have to, but I'm going to kind of take the extra wire out. And so it just means splicing a lot of wires. I, I've got to be pretty sure that's where I want things, but my thought is I'll, I'll take all that and then I'll probably run it up the back side of this support and then just to the uh, BMS units there. Speaking of redoing things, um, I'm gonna have to find another place for this battery. Um, the shell, it comes down and it, it so anyway, it, this, this all seems like it's good, but actually the shell kind of um, tilts down a little bit here. And so it's not just even that I could kind of reshape the shell part because the, the door also comes here. So I might be able to just kind of switch those two um, or I may just kind of move the, move the battery someplace else. All right, so I've started this project. I kind of feel like it's uh, opening up the spinal cord and trying to reattach all the nerves. So uh, cross your fingers. All right, here I am in the car doing a spinal surgery. So I've got kind of one plug done. I think I've got to do four. That's all the long ones from the front. So about a quarter of the way there, making some progress. All right, I'm only about half done, but that's uh, gonna be about all the time um, we have for today. So I'll continue to clean this up. Um, I did, it's kind of hard to see, so maybe we'll just show you next week, but um, I got the battery box, not the battery box, the high voltage box all kind of cleaned up and the top on and everything's looking good there. I got uh, a lot of the cables kind of cut and made. So next week we'll kind of hopefully get this all cleaned up. Hopefully we'll have a solution for the uh, battery modules and that would be very good. That would be almost the conclusion of the high voltage stuff. We can kind of put that to bed. All right, we did not get as far as we wanted to, but still making progress. Um, we'll see what uh, EV West says about those battery modules and the uh, BMS. So hopefully things take a good turn there. Um, probably have to put a pause on kind of some of that high voltage stuff and move on to some other things. But I hope you enjoyed and uh, we'll see you next week.